we are looking at Marley's butterfly stroke over the water. Commentary by Coach Chris. Now this video, Marley is going to start right into her swim, so we'll let her swim a little bit and then we'll break down some of the mechanics of her stroke. little rushed on that. Now Molly's been working really hard on her butterfly and so there are a lot of quirks that have gotten a lot better and she is starting to do a lot of things right with her timing. So a lot of this is stuff that she's already working on that has progressed and that is getting better all the time and she's done a really good job of developing a nice strong kick. When we go to the underwater video I, I would not be surprised to see uh, and I will point out some of the stuff she's been working on. One of the things I've noticed with her is a timing issue. Um, it has gotten better with her breath but she tends to do on a no breath a triple kick or a triple undulation and we'll see that better underwater too but as we're starting off let's look over the water. Um, Now, as you can see, right off the bat with her first stroke, she tends to have a high recovery. She comes out of the water pretty high. Let's go towards another stroke. It's a non-breathing stroke. So she's learned to get better about staying lower to the water. She's getting her head up earlier, although we're still a little late. See, she's coming out for that breath as she recovers. One of the keys for her is to get that timing better and continue to move that timing so that she's breathing on the back half of her pole. Really what Marley should be looking to do is get the head up at this phase where she is pushing through the back of the stroke. So the back half of the pole is where the head should be up. She should be breathing by now. And instead, she's waiting till she gets her hands out to lift the head. And this is kind of the timing that breaks down her stroke. Now, if you look at her hands on exit, another issue she has is she exits her hands palm down. This is not the position you want to be in because it, it recruits the wrong muscles for that butterfly recovery. And it's going to make it a lot harder for her to swing her arms. What she wants to be, she wants to push through the back of her stroke here and then she wants to exit with the, the pinky up and the thumb down and the elbow up. So elbow up, pinky up towards the ceiling, and then the thumb down towards the water. Here you can clearly see her fingertips are down, her palm is down, and she's sweeping. The reason she does that high breath, you can see how high she gets out of the water, and she does that um, circular recovery as opposed to that sweep recovery, and you can watch her arms are traveling up and over the water like this, is because she has that palm down. It's the only way to keep her arms from hitting the water when you have this palm down like this. So coming up a little high and swinging those arms up and over a little much. Now, from here, from this Y position on in, She should be pinky up. You can tell she's actually thumb up in this frame. So she should have her arms turned the other direction. Her pinky should be up. Her whole arm should be rotated so the, both the elbow and the pinky are sweeping the surface and up. And here she's chopping the hands in. And you can see she actually has this part of the stroke right. If you're going pinky up with the elbow and pinky up, the top, that part of the arm facing the ceiling, this is the phase where she wants to flatten out and go palm down. Now she's doing that naturally just because she starts there and ends there. She doesn't really turn her pinky up. And then there you can see on the non-breathing strokes that triple kick. 
so we're pulling through, and we've got a kick in the middle. See the hips pop? She just has an extra undulation there. You, can saw, you saw it right there at the end. Just a mistiming of the kick. Now she's trying to get that head down earlier, and that's something she's definitely improved on. Going into the turn. Turn actually looks really, really good from above water. We'll see what it looks like under the water. Head up a little bit in the streamline and really early on that breakout. That's going to be that's going to be something to talk about. You, she wants the reason she's coming up so high. You can see like the angle when she hits the surface. Her energy is going this way towards the ceiling. And the reason she's doing that is because she's she's breaking out of that streamline way too deep. And you can see she's still probably. I, I mean, we'll see underwater, but a foot underwater, and she's already trying to pull. The only way she can get up is to really sweep up into that breakout. So again, a lot of these timing issues she has been working on, and they keep getting better. So she just has to try and keep working on those timing issues, make sure she's getting the head up as early as she can in that, in that front sweep of the stroke, and then try and make sure she gets that head down. Really above water, it comes down to mastering that sweep. From the exit to the Y position, she needs to sweep the hands from the back of her, her stroke all the way through to that Y position out, front, uh, out top. She needs to have the pinkies on top, the thumb towards the water. And then as she gets to that final little bit of reach is when she needs to flatten out those hands. That'll help a lot with her stamina on Butterfly because she'll be recruiting a lot of larger muscles uh, in the middle of the back as opposed to the muscles of the neck and the front of the shoulder.